Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Motorways. My name is Karan, and uh, this is the Polarity S3K. Well, this is the topmost uh, in the sports range that they have. This is priced at one lakh ten thousand. Weighs under fifty-five kilos. Is powered by a three kilowatt motor, which is a hub motor. It goes at the back, and uh, this is uh, powered by a lithium-ion battery, which uh, can give you a minimum of one thousand recycle. Uh, oh, sorry recharge cycles and comes with a three year warranty now what else do you get uh, you get you get uh, two kinds of chargers one is a home charger one is a fast charger the fast charger uh, ensures that the bike is back with full charge in its battery in about 2 hours uh, range is 80 kilometers plus that's for all the bikes they've launched today there are three bikes in each uh, range one is an executive range one is a sports range and uh, Besides that, this bike promises a top speed in excess of 100 kilometers per hour. Comes with this display here, which is a uh, GPS and Bluetooth compatible. Just fire it up. That's what you see when it comes on first. So you have these things here, and this is uh, the assist. The numbers you see here, where you can toggle it through this button here. So the amount of assist when you pedal is also available. Or if you put it to zero, that's pure muscle power. If you switch it accordingly, go to level five, for example. So the motor also assists while you're pedaling. In pure electric mode, this bike can go uh, for more than 80 kilometers on a single charge. And uh, right now, if you see, there are these two examples here. That's the E3K. That's the topmost bike in the executive range. That retails for one lakh five thousand. There's a five thousand rupee difference. Uh, you see, the most interesting part about this moped, electric moped, is adjustable suspension front and back. And uh, the rear spring is ca gas charged. And if you notice over here, you have compression and rebound and preload adjustability for the front upside down forks. I can't really compress them with one arm right now, but uh, they do work that way. Uh, this headlight you get on the topmost variant are different than the E2K and the uh, 1K variants. It lights up like this. There's a halo ring around it, and uh, that's what happens. You also have blinkers. Of course, uh, this bike will require registration and. Uh, Only people who have a riding license will be able to ride this. This seat over here, it is height adjustable. There's a tiny lever over here, so it's on the fly, like most bicycles have it. So you can pick it up and put it down according to your height. There are no foot pegs, so your feet always rest on the pedal. At the back, there's a tiny LED light, uh, space for a license plate, and this uh, knobby rubber that you see will change to. Um, on off road rubber or dual purpose rubber when this bike launches and deliveries begin in the first quarter of 2020 right now you can pre book one online on polarity's website and uh, <coughs> excuse me deliveries will be through physical stores and you can also buy one online that is other interesting bits over here there's a charging socket which also has a switch of its own And this is a prototype, so certain sections, fit and finish, is not as you would expect. But the production version uh, certainly should have better fit and finish. For example, if you see the swing arm here, some rough edges, but I think that should be ironed out once they have a proper production version in place. Uh, this is only a single seater for now, a twin seater model. They say should come out next year. Depends if people want one, because weight drags down. Uh, the bike and consumes more power, so it drops the range. And uh, this is more like a personal mobility thing, so that's something which has to focus on. Now, those are all the things about uh, this bike. That, by the way, is a steel frame inside which you have the battery and other things. Uh, and uh, voltage, if uh, you wanted to know, that's 80 volts. The battery is lithium ion. That hub motor is three kilowatts, so I'm not really sure if there's any information we've missed out on. But if you do have any questions, shoot them in the comment section below. And if you did like this video, hit that like button. 
share this video with your friends and do subscribe to this channel for more such information about upcoming stuff and uh, my name is Karan this is Motoroids thank you so much for watching until next time goodbye